for parametric system for parametric form parametric form sometimes the relation between two variables is neither explicit nor explicit okay. but but some delay some delay of the third variable Each of the two variables. Okay. What it means by this statement is there are two friends X and Y. Right. Till now we have seen that these two friends talk to each other. Y is equal to X plus plus two. Okay. Y is equal to four X. Y is equal to sine X. Everything else. So they are in a rotative friendship but sometimes what happens is they are uh, fighting and they need a third variable okay so y will talk to t and x will also talk to t this is known as parametric fight okay we introduce another parameter t which is in relation with both the variables okay and you can now replace the value of t and find a single function. You can write t as x by 2. You replace this t here. You have y equals t so by 2. So x square by 16. So this way you can get the main function again. But in differentiation, you should not do like this. Okay. So how to do parametric differentiation? Just remember this. Wherever the third variable is, first find the differentiation of y with respect to that, dy by t. Okay, step one. Find dy by dt and dx by dt. Okay. Differentiate with respect to t, then differentiate with respect to x. Step two. dy by dt upon the equation. Just divide this and what the answer will be is the final answer. Divide by Okay? Very easy. So in this question, if you see, if you find dy by dt, anyone can tell me what is dy by dt? y equals to t square. If y is equals to t square, what is dy by d? Nobody knows? Okay, guys, start your canvas, please. Okay, I'll give you guys two minutes and let me start with focus mode. Focus mode is on, all right? So only I can see your canvas. I'll give you two minutes. Start your canvas. Okay, Kaha. If you have y equals to t square, what is the differentiation of y with respect to t or dy by dt? So, again, what is the answer? Okay. 2t is very good. 2t, that's it. If you have y equals to x square, then differentiation is 2x, right? Dy by dt. So, dy by dt is 2t. And if we 
have x as OT. What is dx by dt? Four. Four. Very good. So now find dy by dx. We'll just divide these two things. So two t by four, which is t by six. That is the answer. Okay. Got it, everyone? Yes. yes x is equal to a cos theta and y is equal to a sin theta find dy by y.
finest quartet of Rishita, Vena, got it? Yes, sir. Find dy by dx if x is equal to a to the and y is equal to two a to Uh, sir, one by t. Okay. We have dy by dt as 2a and dx by dt as 2a t. So, if it is 2, so we get 1 by t. Very good. Yes, everyone. X is cos theta minus cos two theta. Y is sine theta minus sine two theta. Sine theta by theta.
dx by d theta will be cos theta is minus sin theta and this will be plus 2 sin 2 divided by d theta it will be cos theta minus 2 cos 2 theta okay if we can divide it will be answer Also, you can simplify further this thing. So, d by the dx will be equal to cos theta minus 2 cos theta form. You can write 2 sin 2 theta minus sin theta. Okay. So, cos theta minus 2 theta. 2 cos 2 theta. No, I don't think. Okay. I Next question, find dy by dx if x is equal to a theta minus sin theta and y is equal to y times or a times 1 plus cos theta.
theta let's see dy by d theta will be a times only a times sin theta and a by d theta will be a times so 1 minus 40 okay 1 minus 40 is also already known for to write okay we have been doing this since new just to go d times the theta by this thing we can write minus a 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2. And when we divide this two, we get a and b is cancelled, 2 and 2 is cancelled, sin theta by 2 sin theta by 2 is cancelled. So what we have cos theta by 2 upon sin theta by 2, which is the cos theta by 2 with a negative sign. Okay. Yes or no, everyone? Yes, sir. Okay, let's sit down. Yes, sir. So this is all about parametric differentiation. Not much to do with the critical questions are not here. Okay. Next topic is second order derivative. This is also pretty simple. Let me give you the definition first, then I'll explain what it means. We let y is the f of x. Okay. Then dy by dx is f dash x. These are just some uh, symbols. If f dash x is differentiable, that means it is possible to differentiate it again. We may differentiate f dash x with respect to x. Then the left hand side LHS becomes if you differentiate this equation again then the left hand side becomes B and D of dy by dx differentiation of dy by dx okay which is called the second order derivative okay and Denoted by the two y by dx. Remember, this is not square of dy by dx. Write it down to tell you after this. Let's move it down.
okay so what is d2 y by dx square if there was a function a y is equal to sine okay we differentiate it we get dy by d all right it becomes cos x if you differentiate this again you get d2 y by dx square the differentiation of the differentiation and the answer is minus sign okay but if you square this you will get dy by dx whole square which is cos square x okay so remember the difference between these two one is double differentiation or second order differentiation or second order derivative and a square of first order differentiation this two here is a power this two here is a symbol okay please remember the difference sometimes dy by dx is also written as y dash and this is y double dash so we mean the same okay got it everyone yes sir all right so because we already know differentiation so to do this question find d2 y by dx square if y is equal to x cube plus tan x So d by dx is very easy. D by uh, definition of tan x. What is the definition of tan x? Six square x. And what is the definition of tan inverse x? One by one plus x square. If you double differentiate it, definition of this will be six x plus. Here, how to differentiate this function? You first do um take the square and then you put the normal sec x tan x. Yes. So x square differentiate is two x. So two sec x. Then differentiation of sec x is sec x into tan x. Chain rule. Okay, Rishita. Yes, sir. So this will be the answer. If y is equal to a sine x plus b cos x, okay, then prove that square of y 
by dx square plus y is equal to 0. Okay, and this is time for this that is for this. Solving it, everyone. Yes, sir.
we have to solve this one. We can divide the digits as a cos x minus b sin. Okay. E square divided by dx square. This is the double differentiation of this. Second order derivative minus a sin x minus b. We can take the negative of a sin x plus b cos x, which is y itself. So we have b square y by dx square plus y is equal to 0. Very easy to prove. One more question. We have y which should be e to the part 2 x. Plus two e to the power three x. Prove that d square by the dx square minus five divided by dx plus six y is equal to zero. Okay. Got the answer in
okay divide by dv 3 times 2 e to the power 2x plus 2 times 3 e to the power 3 okay very good to see that if you differentiate it again we will have d2 by upon 2x plus 6 which is common is 2 e to the power 2x plus 3 e to the power And this thing is not you can write this as well e to the power two x plus eighteen e to the three x you could prove. This thing here six. This is the thing. Six. Okay, did I make any mistakes here? I don't think so. Okay, do one thing. Let's just replace all these values here. Okay, ls. We have d square over by dx square, which we got. Well, e to the power 2x plus 18 e to the power 3x. Okay. Minus 5 divided by dx minus 5 divided by dx is 6 e to the power 2x plus 6 e to the power 3. And then we have plus 6y and y is 3 e to the power 2x plus 2 e to the power 3x. Okay, so let's simplify this thing 2 e to the power 2x. And minus 30 to the power 2x and this is plus 18. So 18 plus 12 is 30. So these are cancelling out. And here we have 18 again 30 minus 30 and then 12. So this is also cancelling out. So finally what we get is 0. This is the RHS. Okay. Got it, everyone? I just replace all the values of LHS with the terms we found. Yes or no, everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. And guys, today I am not feeling very well. Okay. So we are shortening the class. This is just a one hour class. But in the next class, we will add another half hour. So that will be a two hour class. So Wednesday, Wednesday's class is of two hours. Okay, Bula? Yes, sir. Yes. All right. So these two topics we have completed today, which is the parametric second order derivative. I'll give you a few more questions about this in the next class, but you can also try at home from NCR. Okay. Complete the parametric at least by the next class. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, then, guys. Take care. The next class.